I guess we can move on to the next topic. So, uh, Luffy versus the Hunter Hunter versus Gauntlet. So, I don't know what care. Do we remember what characters were on this post specifically? If there was any, or are we just gonna take our top tier Hunter Hunter characters and put it up against Luffy? To I see mean, the original post, they didn't set it up like it was certain characters that was in the Hunter Hunter versus Gauntlet. But if mm-hmm. I remember right, in the picture. That they had with the post, it was Luffy and the um and the uh, the Spider Troop. I think it was like the Spider Troop and then oh. like the main Gone Squad. So Gone, um, Kiloa, Kurapika, Lurio, uh, Leorio, and then the Spider Troop. But right. still, how they phrased the actual question, it was like the whole Hunter Hunter verse. So I, I would say the okay. whole verse is free game. Yeah, I think the the key here for me is how much save um does Stretch give you against a strength nigga? Because I think now where we're at with Luffy, if we're taking his his current manga form. Uh, I don't know what his power output is exactly, but I'm assuming it's it's pre, it's definitely not country level, but it's, I would say city level plus, maybe, we're thinking? As far as what he can output with, like, gear fourth and all that stuff, if not bigger. Because gear third is pretty huge. We see him take out some pretty gigantic ships. Like, I, th- I, I want to argue that he might be somewhere around there. I don't know exactly, though. What What is everyone else thinking? Um, so are we talking about just like the whole versus or what we thinking on Luffy's power level? Uh, I was talking about Luffy's power level, but if you have your thoughts okay. on the versus, you can, you can do that too. And I, I'm just marinating my thoughts out there. So this is just Luffy versus Luffy versus people, right? Not like not yeah. One Piece versus Hunter. No, it's just Luffy versus uh, a hundred. I guess it's just Hunter x Hunter characters lining up. And, and I guess where, Luffy. where did this question come from? The decent spot? I think it was a post somewhere, yeah. I mean, I think Luffy's going to lose pretty quickly. I give a lot of save to the strategy, but then again, I just, uh, when it comes to power output, I don't know how much it's going to affect certain characters in the in the Hunter Hunter universe. Um, I mean, I think power output-wise, it's still, it's probably similar, like One Piece versus, like, Hunter. Oh, Obviously, I'm... I think the lower level of, of Hunter might be lower. But thinking about the top tier of Hunter, I think yeah. Miro they, they and Datoro, I don't see L's because they have the strats to back up the yeah, strength. Exactly. Like, I don't see L's from those. Um I mean even like the um the the sun guy or Phaeton or whatever. Yeah. In the in the spiders, like Luffy is it's a rap. I don't know about that, bro. Like real talk, like I think Luffy is outpowering any individual if you were they trying to meet muscle to muscle. Definitely outpowering and outlasting them niggas. Um, yeah, so a goal uh, might take a L. Is yeah. what <laughs> the only thing I'm saying, and I think he might be strong enough to literally, if 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 um, Bug King homie was like square up, like Luffy will, will watch that nigga. Um, oh wait, wow! It, it, if we talk about just off hands, that's a big thing. But now when we add in the strategy aspect of it, mm-hmm. this is where it changed. So, like, let's say if we going against these niggas 1v1 and just, yeah. like, a gauntlet. Like, I could see them niggas being like, all right, bro, this is how we going to do it. Uh, uh, one of y'all, um, when the head of the spiders come up, don't fight that nigga Luffy. Uh, ask that nigga if you can join his crew. By joining his crew, you officially <laughs> make this nigga a part of the spiders. Once he a part of the spiders, Karabika, bang this nigga, bro. Like, that's it. Like, as soon as he joined the spiders, my nigga Karabika putting this nigga in the dirt. That's facts. Wow. I mean, that's so that funny. Is a val- shit funny as hell. That's wow. a valid uh, Hunter Hunter strategy. I could totally see. Mother- I definitely could see that. Um, also, let's I, not forget about you could just low key drop killer with sister on that bitch, too. You could just, uh, yeah, that's know, what I'm saying. Do a so crazy think, wish, drop that yeah. bitch off for Luffy, and just be like, hey, Luffy, give me your life, nigga. What? <laughs> I think anyone, what? anyone that throws hands, like just let's straight hands, it's probably gonna lose yeah. to Luffy. But thing is, like, I, that's not most of Hano characters, I feel like. Most of them have some weird ass powers and use them in weird ass ways where I don't know what he could, he can do. I mean, when we're talking Phantom Truth, for sure. Um, but there is like, like one dude, the dude that just looks like a regular white guy with the jumpsuit. That nigga's power is strength based. Like he he winds his arms up, and the more he winds his arms up, the more. Yeah, him and him and the one Kurupika killed. Oh yeah, Vogan. Yeah, both yeah. of those are just so strength both of them getting so dropped for sure. They yeah. could get an L, but I would think yeah, when we start talking top top tier Phantom Troop members, meaning like. Uh, maybe the swordsman Nobunaga, I, I argue, is probably up there in their their ranking. Uh, obviously, Crollo, Lucifer, 
and uh, like you said, Phaeton. Uh, they're those Ooh, are some actually, I take it, I take it back because if Luka can like predict their like attacks and shit, like how he does in, in One Piece with hockey. Yeah, no, probably, that's they, that's still a thing because I swear there was somebody that did that in in Hunter Hunter and somebody countered that nigga. Mm. Yeah, probably they would be the niggas to counter it. But, but do they I also got you. the speed and power that Luffy got? Exactly, that's the thing. And then also, how many niggas can physically harm Luffy? Like once you get past all the bullshit, when you uh, land your hit, how many niggas actually gonna harm Luffy when they hit him? Uh, the argument then is like if you could use then and in, in to replicate hockey type of. Of things, I think that's actually safe could, to say, based on what we're learning about men. Yeah, so if you could, then they should be able to hit him. Okay, and which I will argue too, because it does. They are very similar in nature, the hockey yeah. and then thing. So I, I would argue that it, you probably could just say, "Oh, a nigga with Ned could probably touch Luffy." Yeah, and then I'm gonna be to, on it though. Ninety nine percent of niggas not making it past the gum gun Gatling gun. Most of these <laughs> niggas dead after that. But if we take the toppest tierist of niggas, that's really my question. Because I feel like the the regular hunter groups, like, yes, of course they're dropping. But if we take a gang, if we take a partisan, if we take fucking Netero, Miruem, you can even take Killua and go in if you want because they're the main characters. The top tier niggas from Phantom Troop, Killua's fucking parents. Like, are these niggas, and that's where my question is, Hisoka, are these niggas niggas that actually would take the dub on them? Or do we think somebody in that tier is also taking an L? That's yeah. I, that's I, what I, I'm think, like, in that tier I think mo- most of them are getting dropped. I think pr- maybe only like three people wouldn't. Maybe so like, um, is taking an L. Yeah, I think, I think Soko will take an L for sure. Hundred percent. And here's my thing: is like unless you have a very specific skill that is like uncounterable, unless you're a master of nin, like some mm-hmm. nigga like Karapika or something, you're taking mm-hmm. an L. I don't give a fuck how shifty you are, because we saw even how shifty Hisoka was. Volleyball nigga was really yeah, broke that nigga nigga hands, yeah. no, yeah, the volleyball nigga definitely went through his ass. But like a nigga was able to cut oh. his arm off. Like Luffy will gum gun Gatling gun this nigga out of existence, bro. Yeah, but I feel like uh, definitely Nedro has the speed because then he do the, all that True. shit in point zero one. Yeah, that's, a, that's why I'm saying like oh, I was saying three people there. as in him, um, uh, probably like maybe maybe the bug bug king buddy and then Crollo. I mean, I'm sure there might be other people we just don't know shit about him. To say yeah, that. I mean, I'm just gonna say now I think Gang has a shot for sure. Um, I don't have the evidence of that yet because he hasn't shown too much what he can do. <laughs> But I argue that that nigga probably will have a shot if we ever get to learn more about what the fuck this nigga can do. So um, what makes me think them niggas actually don't have a chance against Luffy is yeah. because we see Gon at his max power, and 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 uh, Pito said like, "Yo, this nigga is is on level with the boss man." Like, obviously that's not mm-hmm. hard facts, but but that's as close as we gonna get. And we saw that the damage that nigga was putting out. Is nothing that I in the, the one piece where I'll be like, whoa, look at this nigga. I'll be like, all right, he a decent nigga in somebody crew. He's not a Yonko. Well, you know what I'm saying? Actually, yeah, that, that, that's a little debatable. I mean, that like the strongest hit that we see going like a completely powered up against Pito. I mean, homie like sent them what seemed like miles. I mean, I would have to like replay that actually shot. But like that punch, like the actual, you know, like rock, scissors, rock, mm-hmm. and like actually hit Pito at like max power. Homie was flying through trees, rocks, yeah. and again, what seemed like blocks. I mean, that kind of blow to me was kind of like up there, even in like One Piece world, F around. Yeah. Oh, well, it might be to- how, however we perceived it, because when I looked at it, it, it was big, yes, but it didn't seem crazy. You know what I'm saying? I got I to gotta watch it again, but I mean, it looked like homie like flew. Like, Pito yeah. was gone. So, uh, I, I don't know. Like, to me, that's not like, I mean, that, that kind of punch isn't like a basic punch in One Piece. Like that, 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 like that, that's why, that was kind of like a blow, right. you know what I mean? Like, that was like the slow-mo, like you see the fist at, and like in someone's back, if like, if, if he, homie got hit in the stomach kind of hit and like homie's like gone, like through a whole mountain or something. Maybe not a mountain, but you know what I mean? Yeah. So, I don't know, like, go, and especially considering that Gon wasn't like, he was going, he was all, going out, all out, yes, but it's not like not he was like going, he was going all out as far as like exhaustion goes, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, what I will also add, too, is, like, I, it might have changed a little bit because, you know, recent chapters of One Piece and and bullshit, but basically, like, 
these niggas still get hit by regular things. The only thing that changed between the like time skip is like now you just have to say it's a hockey X Y Z thing. So like bullets don't work. Well, bullets never worked on Luffy, but it's like hockey bullets now mean something. Like, but when he uh, traveled to whatever the Amazon place, like he was getting hit with hockey arrows and that shit was doing damage. So it does like allow a lot of Nen users to compete. Like, now, like, you're saying, like, will they be able to keep up with the speed or nothing? Maybe not. But it does mean that, like, niggas can, niggas can do damage. I think we might be saying, like, I think we might be adding too much to Luffy's durability, where I think that really hockey levels of playing field. And if we basically go along with, like, Nen can be the equivalent to hockey, then it kind of takes away a lot of the durability feats we might have given Luffy before. Uh, Luffy be getting dragged, bro. Yeah. My man was fighting yeah, dogs. He's, he's for still like pretty 10, durable. 10 like, even if it's with hockey, he's still pretty durable. Oh, yeah. yeah I mean, for sure. But I think it, it, he would be damn near invincible if Nen didn't work on him. Compared yeah. To, oh, yeah. yeah. That's games. me. Yeah, that, that, that's, yeah, that's a fair argument. But, it it like, allows, I, like, the top tier niggas to compete. Yeah. So, I mean, I, in, in summary, at least from my point of view, I'm kind of, I think I'm on the same page with um, MGG that I think he kind of. I mean, I think Luffy's pretty much up there with, like, the top 10 characters of Hunter x Hunter. So as far as, like, the actual question, how would he do in the gauntlet? One, I definitely see him losing. If he's going, like, back-to-back fights with, like, all the Hunter Hunter tops, like, there's no way he's taking out all of them, no chance. But I can see him getting maybe, like, three, four wins, and then he yeah. just, like, taps out because it's just too much. Just but, to add some going context real quick, sorry to cut you off, because I, I just pulled it up on the Versus Wiki. Okay. Um, I have to double check Luffy's, but this is what they're saying. So I I don't know how you guys want to take it, but uh, this they're saying that it his power at the the whatever the full state when he went into rage mode was at least small town level, based off of what Nefer P two said. Speed wise, um, I'm assuming is also uh based off of the the OP shit. Massively hypersonic is what they're saying when he was in his OP state, um. Striking strength, they're saying small town class level. So basically, at his max, going is like small town. When that, in that thing, I have to compare against Luffy's thing, but I, I'm assuming Luffy's scale is still bigger. Eh, I mean, if it's small town, that's not. I don't know. I mean, we we could look up Luffy, sure, but like based on what you just described, that kind of sounds almost equivalent to at least how I picture Luffy. F around. I, I just I mean, Luffy like fucked them up Dressrosa, right? Big, huh? How big is Dressrosa? That's what I'm saying. That's where I'm going from. So they're saying at least small city level plus likely mountain level for Luffy in base. This is post time skip. And then large mountain level with gear four. That's that's where they're putting his thing. So comparable. But uh, and they're also giving him massively hypersonic plus possibly relativistic plus i don't even know what that is um with gear four as far as his speed so he's faster according to relativistic your... means you're approaching the speed of light oh okay wow so they really what? they gave him that fast. Speed, really see this is why i have an issue with versus wiki's promo oh, actually maybe i'm tweaking shit that's Luffy's fast like i didn't I, I knew luffy was fast like he was blinding fast i get that with gear second but like yeah. light speed fast that's I, wow I think they're saying pushing Gear Fourth to its limits because the way it's written, it says at least massively hypersonic plus, possibly relativistic plus, relativistic plus with Gear Four. So, hmm. mm, I think maybe base Gear Fourth is probably massively hypersonic. When he starts like doing special shit with Gear Fourth, it probably starts getting to that relativistic. Is my guess from what I'm reading. But either way, I think it's it proves he's he's faster at least in gear four. Damn. Well, I mean, if we use that as a basis, then yeah, that that's crazy, bro. That's probably like the strongest actual like stats than most of the hunter hunter world, to be honest. But, yeah. I, now I kind of want to read Netero because I I would say that's the best person to compare him to if we see Netero stats. Sorry to take the time to do this, but now I'm just curious. <laughs> my my curiosity has to be uh sated. Yep. Um so they're giving them city level 
uh, or small town level for Netero, and speed is massively hypersonic. So even Netero still kind of weaker than this nigga. Then if you put Meru on, I like prob Meru's probably like probably like the same level as Netero, if not higher, maybe. Yeah. But in, in any case, then well, I mean to be honest, like okay, so Luffy is still stronger than most of the verse, but I'm not gonna change my opinion as far as him still getting waxed eventually. Yeah, right. I mean, I, I I still don't see it because I mean, obviously he can't keep up Gear Four forever. So if they actually ran like a legit gauntlet, yeah, top five hundred hundred characters, I think they're taking him out. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, that nigga's up there. Shit, I ain't know. That is true, though. I, I didn't think he had like that big in the stats. Yeah, I didn't know Luffy's jump was that crazy. Uh, post time skip, but yeah, this nigga. All right. Well, <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> so big ups. That's right. Yeah. Shout out to Luffy. Uh, so I guess that answered it. I mean. I still put money on the stretch that might give them enough of an edge, but it really depends on who. So to me, I think if anybody has a chance at winning, uh, it is up, up. Uh, it's it's the top tier, prima crop of the um hunter hunter characters. And basically, if it's a versus gauntlet and we could have multiple hunter hunter characters in a the fight, then I think there's there's likely a stronger chance of the win going to. More wins going to Hunter X Hunter, but oh, if it's yeah. one v one, then it's really all strat based on the person, which might give them a couple of dubs if we're talking ten out of ten fights. But I think it would lean towards Luffy in the end. In most cases, if we're talking multiple Hunter X Hunter characters versus Luffy, is going to skew towards Hunter X Hunter to me all day. So yeah, that, yeah, that's all I say. If 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 it's as it, it seems like it's the verse. Which means like I'm assuming that niggas get to go in one after the other, whatever that may be. I do not see Luffy beating the entire verse. Uh, cause like I said, at the end of the day, we have seen in the series a nigga could just make a wild ass nin contract and be like, bro, I'll give my life to kill this nigga and just yeah. boom, blow that nigga up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that's why I'm yeah. like, mm, Nin is too versatile for Luffy to win. And I don't think Luffy wins in any scenario against the entire verse. Yeah. Um, but if niggas just were to lose all their consciousness and just fucking headbang this nigga, like, ah, full strength, like, yeah, then Luffy go run them niggas. So I'll give Luffy a one out of ten for beating the whole verse in the one scenario where everybody decides to just throw purest of hands with this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I already told y'all my try. Hey, make that nigga join the, the, the Phantom yeah. Street. <laughs> Have my nigga Karabi could dig him a ditch, bro. <laughs> Damn. I mean, yeah, after all, yeah. even with what we're hearing about the stats, you still think that's enough for Corp Eager to beat him 1v1? That's Easy. It. Easy. As long as he a member of the troop, he put that thing on his heart. Boom. Put that thing on his heart. And then just, like, have him have some arbitrary question and kill that nigga. Luffy still need a heart. Like, because Karapika right. powers don't really matter about how strong you are. He got one rule. I can only use these against Phantom Troop members. All right, put that chain on that nigga heart as soon as he a troop member. What's up, bro? You're dead, Luffy. No matter how fast you are. <laughs> Dig a ditch for that nigga. Do, do, put him in a ditch. Like I said, I, I'm just dropping off Kurup uh I said Kurapika, uh Killua's sister, bro. I'm just gonna be like, yo, somebody <laughs> asked for some crazy ass shit. We about to drop this bitch off in a second, bro. That's it. <laughs> I can hey see. Luffy, I'm gonna need your arm, buddy. <laughs> I'm yeah, gonna need that me. whole arm up off you. 